Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sapaha and today we are going to discuss a brief introduction to National Commission for Women. Violence against women is a violation of human rights across nation, society, cultures and classes and the commission was formed to stop this violation. The National Commission for Women was formed in 1992 under the National Commission Act 1990. It was formed with an intention to establish an equal and just livelihood for women or by making legal and constitutional amendments for women in India. NCW has the authority to review constitutional safeguards for women in the country. It enjoys all the powers of a civil court. It also recommends remedial legislative measures, facilitates the redressal of grievances and advises the government on all policy matters affecting women. The first chairman of NCW was Mrs. Jayanti Patnayak and the first male member was Mr. Alok Nawat. Section 3 of the National Commission of Women Act states the constitution of the commission which involves chairperson, five members and member secretary all are appointed by the central government. As far as the five members are concerned, they must be having expertise in law and women related issues. And a member secretary must be a central gazetted officer having management and sociological expertise. Functions of NCW It examine and investigate the matters related to safeguards of women according to the constitution and other laws which are in force. Present the annual report to the central government, make such recommendations in the reports to the union as well as state regarding improving the conditions of the women, review different laws related to women and suggest amendments to them. It also takes up violation cases pertaining to the provisions of the constitution and other laws related to women. It takes due more to notice of matters pertaining to deprivation of women's rights, non-implementation of laws, non-compliance with policy decisions related to women, etc. It identifies the limitation of providing expulsion procedures while conducting special studies or investigations on the problems or circumstances arising from discrimination and crime against women. It undertakes promotional and educational research to find ways to represent women in all spheres of life and improve their efficiency. Participate in the planning process related to women's socio-economic development and evaluate the progress relating to the development of women in the state and the union. They also investigate or arrange for an inspection of a jail, remand home for women or other guardianship centers where women are detained. They also provide funding for court cases on issues that significantly impact women, write periodical reports on issues affecting women, particularly the very challenges that they face. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.